Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming down to the press room. We just got back, just got back from California, and you were, you were all with me. All the fake news was with me in California. You know who you are. Fake news, fake news. I like you. You, yes, the pretty woman. I like you. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are back from my trip to uh, Nevada and California. It's been a, it's been a very intense uh, few days. Uh, last night we were in Nevada, in Henderson, Henderson, Nevada, which I didn't even know existed. Uh, we had a tremendous crowd. We had a tremendous crowd uh, in the in the uh, uh, the lift. It was a lift company. It was really really incredible. Uh, the fake news. You know who you are. CNN said it was a super spreader event. Super spreader. Super spreader. Uh, it was super. I can tell you that. It was a super. Uh, I don't think uh, Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe could get that many people into a lift warehouse. Uh, I probably, you know what? I think it's the first time I've done a lift warehouse uh, rally, and it was it was fantastic, frankly. It was really, really incredible. And people were wearing masks. They were wearing Trump masks. So, you know, especially you. you, you he reported no one was wearing a mask. Look at the video. Look at the video. People behind me had masks on. They were Trump masks. They were Trump masks. But it's so great to be uh, in Henderson, which is right next to Las Vegas. I couldn't do it in Las Vegas, which is just unbelievable. Um, and I love Las Vegas. I love, love, love Las Vegas. It's a, it's, a, it's a unique place. It doesn't matter where you're from. Las Vegas is the complete opposite. It's the complete opposite. Of course, we have the uh, Trump Tower Hotel there. It's a beautiful hotel. Remember, if it's not a Trump hotel, it's a dump hotel and my hotel is probably the best hotel in all of las vegas and uh the pool the pool the pools at all the hotel that's what everybody brags about but uh the pool at my hotel is probably the greatest pool in all of las vegas and the water at the pool is unique because it's the wettest water in the world we had it imported and it's very very wet water and uh that's important it's important to have wet water and uh and you know in california we went on to california and i was in California today and you know a, a lot of people don't know this but Nevada borders California a lot of people don't know that uh, it's it's amazing and on the other state that's on the other side of California is the Pacific Ocean and it's a very deep it's a very deep ocean it's a very wet ocean it's a very wet ocean it's very deep and it's uh, it's funny because all that water that in that state of Pacific Ocean is there but the whole state of California is on fire, and it's all their fault because they don't um, they don't clean the floors. They don't clean the floors, and there's a lot of um, they don't do the cutting. They don't do the cutting. They need to do the cutting and uh, the, the 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 other stuff. The raking, the raking. Uh, I think we should send them rakes. I think we should send them rakes. Lots and lots of rakes. Lots of rakes because that's what you need to do. The cutting and the raking. The cutting and the raking. And of course, you have the explosive trees. You have the explosive trees, which were planted by Antifa. Uh, some of these trees are two and three, four hundred years old. So Antifa has been around a lot longer than we realize because these exploding trees, they, you look at them and they just explode. And uh, they were exploding while I was there. We had to be very careful uh, about the exploding trees. And uh, some of these trees explode entirely and other pieces like a branch will become a projectile. And it's very, it's, it's dangerous with uh, exploding trees. And some of them, you can tell they're going to explode because they look very angry. And then they just boom and they're all over the place and it's it's very very sad but like i said this is really a big antifa operation they've lit these f f fires and you know california is a very liberal liberal place these are liberal radical trees that are exploding everywhere that were planted you know hundreds of years ago so this is a uh, this you know i always refer to the deep state but this was a um, a deep state plan uh, because they knew i was eventually coming so they planted these trees many many years ago i talked to um uh, the, the governor, we had kind of a discussion today, and I let him know that science, science doesn't really understand any of this. There's no, there's no science around fires and trees and uh, raking. You just have to do it. I talked to um, a president of a country 
uh, in Europe, uh, which a, a tree country with lots of trees. They call it a forest nation. And uh, his name, I forget. Kaylee, can I say his name? The president of that country? No, he doesn't want to. He don't. He won't let me use his name, and I have to respect that. I have to respect the president of a forest nation who doesn't want to let me use his name. Uh, but he says he says they have no problems. They have no problems because they don't have Antifa and they don't have exploding trees. And I think the wrong trees were planted. I think we need to get all that we need to kill the Antifa trees that will explode because they're like suicide trees. These are suicide trees. And we don't want those. We don't want the exploding suicide trees. We want the good trees uh, that will last forever and don't explode, that aren't radical, that aren't leftist. And that's the problem with California. It's a very radical, leftist, liberal state. And, uh, you know, the problem with it, look at the people. Look at the people that are in California. You've got Nancy Palooza and Shifty Shift and uh, other people and uh, all the people in Hollywood who uh, are very left, very left leading, except, you know, a couple of John Voight and uh, some other people. Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris, who, by the way, I just uh, appointed him. And you're going to get a press release about this tomorrow. But uh, Chuck Norris, uh, as of next Monday, will be the Secretary of Self-Defense, Secretary of Self-Defense, which I'm very, very excited about. I had originally thought about Jackie Chan, but then the whole China thing, you know, and I like Jackie. He's a great guy. He's English. Not so hot. Not so hot. But uh, Chuck Norris is really a true American, uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, and he's going to be the Secretary of Self-Defense. And I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, we're going to get California back on track. We're going to get some uh, conservative trees planted. We're going to get some uh, Republican trees planted. We're going to get Trump trees, Trump trees, which are the greatest trees. They grow faster. They uh, cover more area. They take less water. They take less water. And speaking of water, we've got to get the water from the ocean, uh, the state next door to California, and get it all over uh, the, these fires, which are terrible, which are terrible. And people are saying it's climate change. I don't think it's climate change. I don't think it's climate change. I just think it's um, poor forest management and radical trees and obviously explosive trees. And now they're saying there's explosive bushes. There's explosive bushes, too. So I think we've got a lot of uh, different explosive things that are happening right now. And, uh, you know, California, I have a great golf course there, the southern part of California, uh, Palos Verde. Where, where's my golf course? Southern California. It's in Southern California. It's great. And uh, we have a membership drive on right now. And uh, it's usually 350 $50,000, but we've knocked $50 off if you want to join uh, the Trump International Golf Course in Palos Verdes, California. And it's a beautiful, beautiful course, a championship course uh, designed by Jack Nicholson. But it's all, it's late. It's late. You guys have been with me for the last few days. I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. Uh, I do want to say we have a new product in the uh in the gift shop, this is great. It's the end of the summer. I should have probably shown this earlier. It's the um, it's the Trump float. It's the Trump float. That's the first time a woman's been inside of me, and that's a that she's right inside. And she's pretty too. Look at that body. She's very attractive. She's very attractive. It's kind of like Ivanka, kind of. But that's me. That's the pool float. And uh, this is a great new item. Exit through the gift shop. Pick one of these up. I know it's the end of summer, but this way you'll be ready for next summer with the Trump pool float. Thank you very much. No questions, especially from the fake news. Thank you, everybody. Kaylee? Yeah, something to eat, please. There's nothing more American than subscribing to my videos. If you don't subscribe, you're a communist and a loser. Subscribe. Oh, and hit the notification thing for the bells. Ding, 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 ding.